Hooray for Hollywood. Stop sneaking up on me like that. It's I'm Stan the Movie <clears throat> Center. I'm Stan the Movie Man. And this is my review of The Exorcist Believer, starring Leslie Odom Jr. and Dow, Jennifer Nettles, Norbert Leo Butts, Lydia Jewett, uh, Olivia Markham, and an appearance by Ellen Burstyn, reprising her role as Chris McNeil from the original Exorcist. Uh, it's the story of Victor Fielding, played by Leslie Odom Jr. His daughter, Angela, is uh, played by Lydia Jewett. Now, um, unfortunately, uh, Victor's wife, uh, Soreen Fielding, played by Tracy Graves, dies from injuries sustained in the uh, ha uh, Haiti earthquake. Uh, they were down there. Uh, he's a professional photographer, and he was shooting pictures of the region. And uh, she, she is very pregnant um, and is uh, fatally injured in that earthquake. Uh, but they are able to save Angela, um, who uh, is now 13 years old. Now, uh, of course, Angela's never met her mother. Uh, so she is looking for connection by going through her old stuff, looking at pictures, uh, grabbing a scarf that uh, her mom wore in one of the pictures, and uh, is trying to connect with her by uh, doing a ritual in the woods with her friend, Catherine, who is played by Olivia Markham. Uh, Catherine and Angela have told their parents different stories about what they're gonna do uh, after school one day, but actually they are going into the woods to do this ceremony to try to contact Angela's mother, the spirit of Angela's mother. And they disappear for three days. They are not seen. Uh, the uh, police are uh, searching for them, and uh, they are trying to uh, figure out why the girls have disappeared. They suggest that perhaps um, the, uh, the girls have some hidden secrets, uh, which is making Victor very angry, along with um, uh, Miranda and Tony, Catherine's parents, played by Jennifer Nettles, and uh, Norbert Leo Butts, and the uh, they just they don't know where to find them. However, thirty miles away, three days later, they show up in a barn at a farm. The girls are brought in. Um, they can't remember anything about where they've been for the last three days. Actually, they think they've only been gone a few hours. But the girls are different in some way. There there doesn't appear to be any serious physical injury other than some scratches and uh, fortunately they have um, not been uh, assaulted in any other way. Uh, one of the people who works uh, at the hospital is Paula played by Ann Dowd. She also happens to be a neighbor of Victor's and um, she is helping to take care of the girls but the girls are given off a creepy vibe. And at one point, uh, uh, after uh, Angela is brought home by Victor, she assaults him with the scarf. She uh, wraps it around his head and slings him into a, a bed frame. Uh, and the other girl is also showing uh, bizarre signs. And over time, they become more and more um, uh, damaged. Their, their bodies are breaking down. They're, they're getting blisters on their feet for no apparent reason. Their, their fingernails are coming off, fingers and toenails. And uh, uh, while uh, none of the families know what's going on exactly, Paula, the nurse, is familiar with a similar case. Uh, in that similar case, a young girl was possessed by a demon and was saved via exorcism. That, of course, was Reagan back in the original Ex Exorcist movie. And her mother, Chris McNeil, played by Ellen Burstyn, uh, has written a book about it. Uh, Paula gives Victor, who is a non-believer, uh, 
in religion and God and such, uh, the book and uh, suggests that maybe this is the answer to their problems. Victor goes and finds um, Chris, and she is living in uh, what appears to be a beach community, either um, in Florida or someplace like that. And um, he is able to talk her into coming with him to see her daughter uh, to try to figure out if if she can offer any assistance of any kind. And uh, the girls know who Reagan is, so this is definitely a demonic possession. And the parents bring in all sorts of faiths, their own, uh, from the Pentecostal uh, to the uh, uh, Catholic to even uh, the um, beliefs of the island, uh, what we uh, white folks refer to as voodoo. Um, they, they bring in practitioners of all these different things in an effort to try and free these girls of a demon. The movie's not gotten great reviews, and it is certainly no successor to the original Exorcist. However, uh, the, the whole uh, story of these two young girls being overtaken by demons and the, the, the fact that their parents are fighting against something they cannot possibly understand, one of whom doesn't even believe in God, um, and, and they, are, they are trying everything. They are desperate to save their daughters. And uh, I especially enjoyed the performance of Leslie Odom Jr. as Victor. Uh, he is, uh, he just exudes this uh, um, need to fix the situation, a situation he feels like he is at least partially responsible for. Um, and you figure all, you get all that uh, during the film. Uh, and then you also have the uh, parents of uh, Catherine um, who are rather more rigid in their beliefs, and uh, there seems to be, at least in my interpretation of what I saw, an undercurrent of perhaps racism in how they interact with Victor, who is black, and his black daughter. Um, I, I enjoyed the film. I mean, it certainly doesn't have the same effect on me, the sort of chilling and uh, uh, dread effect that you get from uh, the original Exorcist. It is a, uh, it's more of a creature feature, a special effects kind of uh, uh, showcase for, for the makers of the film. Uh, the same folks made this that also made the Halloween remakes, uh, the most recent ones. Um, so it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for a, 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 a true spiritual, pardon the expression, successor to the original 1973 Exorcist, you're going to be disappointed. However, if you are looking for a well-done and fairly good time at the movies, uh, as we enter spooky season, then by all means, check out The Exorcist Believer. I'm giving it four stars. Go to StandTheMovieMan.com to read my complete review of The Exorcist Believer. Uh, you can check out my podcast. Uh, it's called Comedy, Tragedy, Marriage. You can uh, check that out each week on the podcast platform of your choice. Uh, we are in spooky season on that as well, so we're talking about strictly uh, haunted horror, uh, supernatural thriller kind of movies, and there's a theme to this year's uh, spooky season, so check that out at wherever you get your podcasts. Follow me on Twitter, or that thing that used to be known as Twitter. Uh, I am there at Stan, at, at Movie Man Stan. You can follow the podcast at CT Marriage. You can follow uh, me also on uh, Threads, Spoutable, and Blue Sky. And there I am at Stan the Movie Man. Until next time. Later. <laughs>